In this screencast, we're going to look at how the chemical potential changes with temperature for a single component. In particular, we're going to look at comparing solid and liquid phase chemical potentials. The starting equation for looking at this behavior is the differential change in Gibbs free energy, general equation single component. The change depends on pressure changes and temperature changes. This differential temperature change. Now we're interested in the case where it's a constant pressure, so this term goes to zero. And that's because we're limiting this to constant pressure and we're looking at the temperature dependence. And so it says the Gibbs free energy changes and decreases as we raise the temperature as a function of the entropy, a bigger entropy, a bigger decrease. For a single component, the Gibbs free energy is the same as the chemical potential. Because the entropy of a liquid is greater than the entropy of a solid, and then we look at the plot of chemical potential versus temperature, liquid chemical potential is going to decrease more as we as we raise the temperature. And keep in mind, what's important is that when we look at these plots of chemical potential, it's the lower chemical potential is the more stable phase. So let's look at let's look at what the plot looks like. So we can see the the larger and absolute value slope is for the liquid, namely higher entropy for liquid means the chemical potential decreases more. And so the stable phase at low temperature is the solid phase, solid line. The stable phase at high temperature is the liquid, again the solid line. The dashed lines indicate how the chemical potentials change over the range if it were still a liquid below the melting point, still a solid above the melting point. At the melting point, the chemical potentials of the liquid and the solid are the same. So notice in this plot it says the pressure is greater than the triple point pressure. Well, let's look at a pressure temperature diagram to understand why. So on the right we're showing log of pressure versus temperature. And pressure above the triple point pressure means we're in this region where we have solid liquid equilibrium. If we're below, this is the triple point. Below the triple point pressure, then we would have solid vapor equilibrium instead of solid liquid equilibrium. The relation between these two diagrams as to which is the stable phase is related to which has the higher entropy. So that when we change the temperature, we can see the liquid chemical potential changes more with temperature than the solid. 